Hey everybody, this is Mike, and I am bringing you a Titan hard mode video. Uh, I am in here as my monk. I am relic plus one, three piece artifact two. Uh, the rest is dark light, dark light jewelry. And I believe I have my elegant wrist bracers, whatever. I think that's what I'm wearing anyway. Alright, so <clears throat> I'm going to try to try to speak about Titan's different phases and his different moves and uh, what I think he should do as well as what I like to do as my monk or what I what I try to keep in mind. So first part's pretty easy. He's really only going to be doing, that was a frontal cleave that he actually started out with. So if you're melee, you uh, definitely don't want to be standing in front of him. There are certain points where it is okay and I will show you when. Uh, specifically, it's if you know he's just done a cleave, uh, then you're all right. Um, but for the most part, you want to stay stay away from him. Uh, the other skill he does right now is landslide. Uh, puts an AOE on the ground, and if you get caught in it, you get knocked back as well as hit for a ton of damage. Um, and then here's another one, tumult. Uh, that's going to happen periodically. The, at the beginning of the fight, he only does it twice, so you're only you know you're not going to take as much damage. But as the fight goes on, that gets more and more. Um, and then that was Geo Crush, uh, the skill where he jumps up in the air. And generally, everybody wants to stack up on the tank uh, so that the healers can do AOE heals. Um, what I like to do for Geo Crush, and uh, if you may have noticed it, I like to hit uh, Fist of Earth, which reduces my damage taken by 10%. And then I just switch back to Fist of Fire after after the Geo Crush has hit me. Just, uh, you know, doing a little bit extra to, to keep my damage down for the healers. I don't know that it's going to make or break it, but you never know. You know, I think it always helps. I think it's a good idea. It's a good habit to get into. So here we go. Hit this earth. Gather up. Get, get hit by Geo Crush. Turn this fire back on. Alrighty. Here we got another landslide. Uh, I like this video. It, uh, not everybody stayed alive during it, <laughs> so uh, that's kind of why I liked it. Um, so here, here's another skill he's got, Way of the Lands. Uh, he started actually using that a little bit earlier, but I forgot to mention it. But uh, Way to the Land uh, just puts circles on the ground and you want to avoid it. And then this is another skill called uh, Bomb Boulders. He puts them down in a certain order and you want to be watching how he puts them down um, so that you can avoid them. And then he generally is going to landslide at some point when he's got the bombs out. So uh, that's another thing you gotta watch for. It's really this fight is all about anticipation. That's my biggest, my biggest pointer to anybody is anticipate what's coming. And uh, you know, unfortunately, you can't anticipate if this is your first time. But um, you know, you do the do the best you can. Watch the videos and. Uh, really learn the fight in, in practice, you know, that's above all else, you gotta practice. It's, it's a reasonable expectation, you know, for people to, to be able to do this in their first time in, but... Yeah, so again, anticipation and practice. So here's the second pattern of bombs, and here I like to do this a little bit different. I just watched the boss do a funnel cone, so I know I'm safe to be in front of him in here. <laughs> here I go back and forth in, in front of the tank. And here we are preparing for the heart phase. Again, I hit Fist of Stone, Fist of Earth, and then uh, switch back to Fist of Fire. Now here we've got the heart. I always like to hold off on my buffs, because I don't know if I'm going to get jailed or not. So here's the first jail. You always break the first person who gets jailed out. And then you wait to break the second person out until after the heart is broken. So here we're breaking him out. Plumes, I hit my buffs. Blood for blood, internal release, and then I start with my um, off global cooldowns, holding fist, and if it's up, uh, steel peak, which it was not up for this part. I, I think I used it on that jail. So there's the second person getting jailed, and he runs up. He wants to run up, uh, which that guy did a, a pretty good job. I always, I always think it's a good idea if you're knowing, if you know you're getting jailed, to go up behind Titan so that everybody knows, especially the melee, know where you're at. So here we are shattering the heart. Uh, no limit break. Obviously, our DPS was really good. If, uh, if your DPS isn't as good, you may need to limit break there. <coughs> Switch the stone. Or, sorry, earth again. Hit mantra while everybody's grouped up. And then second wind. 
that's an important little combo for monks. Mantra is great to get every everybody topped off when you're expecting, you know, that uh, the healers are going to be using AOE heals. So here I'm already positioning my camera to get ready for Way to the Land, which again, anticipation is key. And you'll see later, I actually do slow down to Way to the Land, and you'll see that I don't do a very good job of anticipation and thus get hit by Way to the Land. Here, this is the third pattern of bomb boulders. Uh, I always run to the center of the bomb boulder to, to bait out the landslide, and then I know I'm safe. I run, I can run to either side of the bombs. I'll try to try to go over that again once that pattern pops up again. Got a way to land again. Um, also, in after the hard phase, you have to uh, healers have to remember that he's going to be using Molten Buster. It's a it's a very very hard hitting skill, and um, if your tank isn't uh, topped off, there's, he's likely going to die, and that's going to that's going to end up wiping you. So again, anticipate uh, Molten Buster. There it is. That's Molten Buster right there. But uh, this White Mage has obviously been in here uh, a lot. You know exactly what you needed to do. I think stone skin really helps there. That was me um, positioning my camera again, getting ready for way to lands. Here, I actually was in a wrong spot. I stayed too close to the bombs that were. I guess it worked out, but I would have, I think being on the opposite side would have been better because I was actually on the same side that was going to blow up first. I could have really got myself in trouble there with landslide, but luckily I didn't. So. Another way to the land avoiding. And here I get jailed. I walk behind Titan so everybody knows. I tend to hang out obviously on the right flank. One of the things I definitely want to add on this is I spend a lot of time at the flank. I don't think that you necessarily need to be hitting bootshine constantly. Um, you know when you're when you're in the correct form to get that crit because uh, my focus here is avoiding um, avoiding damage and not necessarily you know being as optimal as I can and here is a way to the land that I do not get out of in time I felt like I did I mean I'm, I'm just already chilling next to the tank for a couple, for a full second whatever I was like whatever you know seems like that happens to me quite a bit but again had I been anticipating it probably would have been a different story now here again see I go to the center bomb bait out the landslide and then I'm okay to move to either side of the bombs and you move across to the center to avoid those bombs blowing up you always go to the last set of bombs that he throws down and then you run straight to the other ones to avoid avoid that damage <coughs> Here I use the limit break. Uh, he just used the way to the limit land, so I know I'm good. I know I'm, I'm gonna be okay to, to use the limit there. Get this guy out of the jail as fast as I can. Steel peak and howling fist. That's a DPS and Titan. There's a mountain buster. And here we have some big tumults. Those are getting worse. Alright, back to DPSing, and I slow this down for this set of bombs. I think this is very, very important that people know this one. I don't know how these guys got crazy lucky like they did, but they avoided this. I always move for this set of bombs. I always move to a bomb to try to bait out a landslide. You can see he's using landslide up there. And those two guys were sitting there, and they should, honestly, they should have died. That should, I don't know how they got out of that. But they didn't take any damage from bombs and they didn't get hit by landslides. So hey, whatever. It worked out. Here I've got the same part of the fight but uh, a different uh, clip from another time that I had run Titan. I just wanted to show you guys exactly how this part works again. Um, and hopefully a, probably the optimal way to do it. And that's that you can see me go right here to this this bomb here. And uh, I wanna, I, I, I think this is the best way to do it. Wait here, bait out the landslide. He selects me this time, as you can see. And then I've actually got, I can either run here to the right like I do, or I could have actually run to the left. And you just wanna go right in between and wait for the bombs to blow up. 
I definitely feel like that is the safest way to handle this particular set of bombs. Remember, this is the second set of cross bombs. There's the mountain buster. Now here, I think we've got you know, way to land. Got another jail. Slide there, and this is coming to a close, I believe. Yes. So here, he's gonna use tumults, and I hit my mantra because we're one healer down. So I wanted his heals to be as good as they could get. And I even hit my second wind, and that guy just did great. So here's another way to lens that I did not get out of because I was not prepared. Again, I felt like I should have been able to get out of that, but. You know what? Whatever. I didn't. And this is the end of Titan. This is where he goes down. So, if you noticed, we did it with one scholar basically down the entire time. So, it can be done. <laughs> but, uh, alright. Hope the video was helpful. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, subscribe. Whatever. And, uh, hopefully we will see you in the land of Eorza. Alright. Thanks for watching.